Hey guys, welcome back. So today in front of me I have this 4-bit adder subtractor to show you. It's pretty compact and it's my very first binary creation I've ever done in Minecraft. And yeah, so basically how it works is like every other adder or subtractor, but this one doesn't do negative numbers as that was really complicated to me and I didn't find an easy way unless someone can show me that. I'd be grateful if someone commented about that. And yeah, but say if you wanted to add a number like 6 and 3, you just put them in to each one and it would compute it and that equals 9 as 8 and 1 are lit. And if you don't know how to read binary, it's very simple. Basically, you just add up whatever torches are on, which would technically be 1's in real life. And the first bit will equal 1, this would equal 2, that equals 4, 8, 16, and it would go on to like 32 and 64 or whatnot. It's very simple. And yeah, if I want to do subtraction, let me just quickly reset these. Oops, forgot one. All you have to do is go over here and flip this lever. It will do a few things, such as making it so it ignores the most significant bit and all that. And it turns on the input for the first one, the send input, I believe it's called. Yeah. So it can't do any numbers into the negatives. And it cannot be like, um, it can't minus 16 because that would equal 0, so nothing would pop up. But say if you minus, um, let's go with 6, and we'll subtract 2 from it. And there we go, 4 popped up. If we subtract 3 from it, 3 pops up. Good. And now, how I'm getting this to do all this is I'm basically just inverting the signal using an XOR gate for the second input. Because whenever this input isn't on, it will go in as a normal input. But because it's not, it will turn off the input that's already on. And yeah. And then over on this side, I have it so it's activating this input for the first full adder I believe there are. I'm still very new to binary so correct me if I'm getting any of these terms wrong. And then I'm also ignoring the most significant bit by having a piston retract so this will never be lit because it's blocked off like the input can't shut down. And yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. It's really compact because I put the binary adders on top of each other instead of side by side. And that's really it for now. If you liked it, you should stay tuned for more and whatnot. But I'm hoping to turn this into an ALU perhaps, or even in like my first computer later on. So yeah, that's really it for now, and I'd just like to thank you guys for watching. So see you guys next time.